Okay, all right. Uh, welcome again. And uh, let's go on uh, building our English and uh, building our uh, blueprint of uh, acquiring English. Yes, I hope you are right and I wish you a useful uh, lesson. I, I hope uh, it will be an enjoyable lesson. Okay, now our topic is, our subject is again, uh, comparisons of adjectives. Uh, yes, there are really beautiful expressions. For example, the sooner the better. It means... Uh, the sooner requires a subject, a close, and the better requires a close, subject, a subject, verb, object, a sentence, okay? So we can call them the sooner close and the better close, but in short, it also gives the message, okay? The sooner the better. What do you understand from that uh, motto? Yes, for example, the sooner... You learn English, the better it will be. Or, for example, you are planning a holiday and uh, that guy says to you, the sooner you leave tomorrow, the better it will be. Okay? The sooner, the better is enough to give the message according to the situation, of course. Okay? Or uh, let's take a look at the next uh, Give the earlier the better. Yeah, it really gives the complete message. Of course, we are we don't know. We are not aware of uh, the situation. But uh, in a situation, for example, uh, of in the situation of uh, going sleeping, for example, the earlier you go to go to bed, the better. It is for you. Yeah? Okay. Or you say that, for example, uh, I want to buy a car and your friend says to you, the earlier you buy the car, the better it will be. Yeah? According to this situation, in this situation of dialogue, uh, when you say, I want to buy a car, your, fr uh, your friend seeing the earlier the better is enough. Yes, the earlier the better. It means the earlier you buy the car, the better it will be for you. Okay, this is really interesting and very useful. Okay, of course, it is valid for all adjectives. Okay. So the heading is the comparative not positive, not superlative, okay? The comparative form of adjectives plus subject verb object. So it is becoming the comparative clause and another comparative clause uh, like this. The comparative again, the comparative subject verb object. Okay. For example, the earlier you start the journey, the better it is for you. The earlier you start learning, the better you learn. Or with uh, more than one syllable adjectives, the more comfortable the car is, the more expensive it is. But uh, the more, the more, the more comfortable, the more comfortable. Okay. The more comfortable the driver is, the better the journey is. Okay. Okay, the earlier, the better. For example, the earlier, we need a subject. We need a, sorry, sorry, we need a sentence, a statement. The earlier you return from your mistakes, the better it is. The more people you will not make unhappy set. Okay, the earlier you return from your mistakes, the more people you will not make unhappy. The earlier you return from your mistakes, 
the more people you will make happy. Yeah. So the, according to that situation, uh, you just say the earlier, the more, the earlier, the more. The earlier, the much, uh, the earlier, uh, the much better. Okay, the much better. Okay, in short. The earlier, the much better. It is in complete form. In short, the earlier, uh, the much better. Or the better. For example, the politer, it is comparative. Okay. The politer you are, the more friends you will have. What happens? The more you respect, the more I respect, the more I am respected. What happens? The more you love, the more I love sincerely, the more I am loved. Okay? The more I am loved. Passive. The more you respect, the more you are loved. Yes. What's it like that the more ex exercise you do now, of course, the more exercises you do now, the more you learn, the more, the more. Okay? The more exercise you do now, the more you learn English. Or the more you repeat, the more you learn, the better you learn. The more you know, the better you speak. Now, now, uh, before reading them, let's take a look at the gift. The harder comparative and sentence you work. The harder you work, the more money you make. The politer you are, the more friends you make. Okay. The more you know, yeah, the better you speak. I experienced this situation, this fact. The more you read, in, it is also true, the more you read, the better you speak. Okay. The faster you speak, the more mistakes you make. Okay. The more you work, the more you earn. Means, as you know, the message is this. If you work very much, you earn very much. Okay. Dialogue three, the more exercise you do now, the more questions you can answer later. What will happen? The more questions you answer, the more questions you answer, uh, the more points you get. Okay? The more questions you answer, the more points you get, or the more points you will get. This is this. Okay, now Roman number four, Qualifying comparatives. Okay. Qualifying comparative to make them stronger. For example, you are taller than me. You are taller than me. You are, for example, uh, five centimeters taller than me. But if you are 20 centimeters taller than me, then we say you are much taller than me. Okay, you are much taller than me. So much comparative. Okay, you are much more for uh, more than one syllable adjectives. For example, you are more op optimistic than me. You are much more optimistic than me. This is this. For one syllable adjectives, much is enough, much taller, much smarter, much shorter, much faster, okay. But when it comes to more than one syllable adjectives, long adjectives, we use much more, okay. You are much more optimistic than me. Okay, or instead of much, we can put even or far. Let's read them with even, for example. You are even taller than me because you are 20 centimeters taller than me. So you are even taller than me. Or you are far, okay? Far taller than me. You are even more optimistic than me. 
you are far more optimistic than me. Okay. Okay, instead of uh, much, we can use rather, a lot, a little, only a little, a bit, slightly, considerably, absolutely, all the other adverbs of manner. Okay? Yes, adverbs modify verbs, but they also modify adjectives. Okay? For example, tall, very tall. Here, very is also adverb. To make it stronger. Okay, we can say, for example, uh, you are a lot taller than me. You are a little taller than me. You are three, three centimeters taller than me. So you are a little taller than me. Only a little taller than me. A bit taller than me. You are slightly taller than me. But if you are 20 centimeters taller than me, then we say you are considerably, absolutely taller than me. Okay? You are absolutely more optimistic than me. Highly optimistic than me. Highly taller than me. Okay? Incredibly taller than me. Okay? Extremely, well, you are extremely tall. You are extremely taller than me. Okay. Fairly, really, relatively, remarkably, certainly, relatively. For example, you are two centimeters taller than me. So you are relatively taller than me. You are a bit or a little, a little taller than me. You are slightly taller than me. Okay. But you are certainly taller than me. So certainly plus uh, comparatives. Okay. To qualify. Okay. Uh, dialogue four. A bear is much bigger than a cat. Of course. A bear is much bigger than a cat. Or much also, mean, much, uh, also means far. A bear is far bigger than or even. A bear is even bigger than a cat. Is a cat bigger or smaller than a mouse? A, a cat is much bigger than a mouse. Okay. Okay. But a bear, let's compare a bear and a mouse. A bear is absolutely bigger than a mouse. Remarkably bigger than a mouse. Considerably bigger than a mouse. Okay. Incredibly bigger than a mouse. Okay. Dialogue five. Leila is even taller, much taller, far taller. Okay. When we see even, let's remember much and far. Or when we hear much, let's remember immediately even and far. Leila is even taller than her sister. Is she much thinner than her? Yes, she is much thinner, even thinner, far thinner than her. Who is far slimmer than Yasemin? Nejla, Nejla is far slimmer than Yasemin. Okay. These are really important. Everything is important. Yeah, these are details. Okay. 6a. The second exam was much more difficult than the first one. Do you think the third exam will be much easier? Yes, I think it will be much easier. Far easier, even easier. Okay, keep calm, just study for the exam, then you will see that it will be far easier for you. You will pass that exam. Be sure about it. Okay. Keep calm and carry on what you are doing. Carry on studying. Carry on your program. Nurhan is even more, yeah, much more, even more, far more. Nurhan is even more optimistic than Meral is. Is Meral much more generous than Nurhan? Yes, Nurhan Meral is much more generous 
than Nurhan, who is far more hopeful than Kerime. Yasemin is far more hopeful than Kerime. After every dark night, there is a sunrise and a fresh morning. Okay? Which one is better? To give or to receive? Of course, uh, giving is much better, much better than receiving. Yes, because uh, it regards generosity, a good human quality. Okay, stay adjective again, stay hopeful. Okay, stay generous. Eight, Yasin is even more tactful, diplomatic, gentle, okay, kind, polite, very polite. Yeah. Yasin is even more tactful than Sedat. Is Sedat much more inventive, imaginative, innovative than Nihat? Yes, uh, he is uh, much more inventive than Nihat, who is far more joyful than I touch. Selim is far more joyful than I touch. Tactfulness, do you mean, what does tactfulness mean? There's question mark. Tactfulness, working out, working out problems with courtesy, without fighting, without the clashing. Inventive, imaginative mind. Inventive minds or imaginative minds. Okay. A joyful spirit arises from or generates from a grateful, thankful heart. Maybe we wrote them in the previous in one of the previous lessons. Okay, nine, eight. Akif is a lot more patient than Nazife. Okay. Akif is a lot more patient than Nazife. Is Nazife a little more or a tick more consistent, coherent than Emre? Yes, Nazife is a tick more consistent than Emre, who is a bit more frank than a bit more frank than Metin. Uh, Tarık is a bit more frank than Metin. Now, industrious. Approachable, dignified. Why did I write, write them? I don't know why I wrote them, but let's read them. Industrious means hardworking, approachable, uh, affable, am amicable, approachable, uh, very kind. Yes, very kind, dignified, yes, sociable. Consist consistency is the key to or of. Consistency is the key to peace, for example, or a peaceful life. Consistency is the justice itself. Consistency is the justice itself. Consistency or coherence is just is just the justice. Yeah. Okay. Ten. The weather is slightly hotter. Okay. Not. Uh, a lot hotter, but the weather is slightly, not considerably hotter today, but the weather is slightly hotter today than it was on Monday. Was it considerably cooler on Friday than it was on Thursday? Yes, it was considerably, absolutely cooler on Friday than it was on Thursday. Yes, extremely, slightly, a little, a bit, a lot. We can use them to emphasize, to make stronger, yes, to make the adjectives stronger. Okay, 11. Kenan works even better, far better, much better now than he did yesterday. How does Betul work today? He works, he works considerably better today than he did yesterday. Do we have past, do we have, do we have past to feel better or worse? Do we have past make us 
Hatır. Mean do we have past to make us feel better or worse? Do we have a past memory? Like maybe we wrote it in the one in one of the again previous lessons. Uh, we edit it here. It is clear that. But what does it mean? Do we have past to make us feel better or worse? Uh, yeah, past, present, future. Is, of course, we have past to make us feel better, not to make us worse. Okay. Uh, we have to manage. We have to manage our past uh, logically. Yes, to feel better. Okay, 12. So if uh, 550 means here, we have studied. We have studied 550 dialogues so far up to now in this harmony to intermediate level. Okay. Dialogue 12. I can listen. I can listen much more carefully, much more carefully. Could you speak much slowly, please, or much more slowly? Okay. Yes, you can speak, although the question is in could we answer, we can. Could you speak much slower, please? Yes, I can speak much slower. Is it a matter of speaking? Is it a matter of speaking fast, slowly or fluently? Of course, it's a matter of speaking fluently. Sometimes you speak fast, sometimes you speak slowly. But what matters is in this situation is uh, Speaking fluently matters, okay? Speaking eloquently matters. What counts, what counts is speaking eloquently, fluently, articulately, okay, beautifully. It's a matter of life and death, a beautiful expression. We added it again in one of the previous lessons. It's a matter of life and death, a famous saying. A proverb, in fact. Yes. Die means verb, to die. That adjective, that noun. Okay, the name of that action. Okay, uh, 13. Suleyman is far more tolerant of criticism than Hülya is. Is he even more tolerant of freedom of speech? Yes, yes, he is far more tolerant of freedom of speech. Are you a Democrat? A conservative, a Republican, a liberal, or an autocrat? Of course, uh, I am a Democrat. I am. Uh, I am a Democrat, uh, a conservative, and Republican. So, conservatism, and I look for. In fact, I look for. Uh, harmony between conservatism and liberation. So I let me say I am a democrat. These are, of course, uh, really useful ex uh, uh, words and expressions. Okay. For A, you know that, you know that I am positive, but who is even more positive than me? Uh, your neighbor your neighbor Lee is even more positive than you. 15a, the third boy looks intelligent. Yes, the third boy looks intelligent. How does he look? He looks intelligent. Which boy looks gifted, more intelligent? Which boy looks gifted or which boy looks smart, looks uh, bright. Which boy looks gifted? The, the, the second boy looks gifted. Gifted child. Maybe he's a gifted child. He looks like, okay? The second boy looks like a gifted child. Okay. Gifted child means child naturally endowed with a high degree of general mental ability or extraordinary ability in a specific 
field, area, domain. Okay. Sixteen A. I am tired of being to be tired of. I am tired of being a boss. What are you tired of being, doing, or having? I am tired of. I am tired of. I am tired of uh, nothing. Okay. I am tired of nothing. I think it's a. It's, it isn't a, a logical question. Okay. I am tired of watching the same film again and again. I am tired of being. I am tired of being. Uh, something or I am tired of having. I am tired of having. Uh, a toy like this for it. A game like this. I am tired of being a player of that kind of game. Okay. Rather, uh, what is uh, specific about rather? Let's learn it. Rather before negative adjectives, huh? But fairly before positive adjectives. Fairly and quite, yeah. Fairly means quite. Fairly joyful, for example. Fairly happy. Quite happy. Ahmed is fairly or quite, quite happy, but rather, rather unhappy. Okay. Ahmed's friend Dawood is rather unhappy today for negative adjectives, especially human qualities. 17a. The actor was rather worse than we expected. Was the director fairly better than we expected? Yes, the director was quite or fairly better, fairly better than we expected, but uh, the actor was rather worse, okay? What about scenario? The scenario uh, was also rather worse than we expected or than we had expected is much better, okay? We will study it in this intermediate level before starting the advanced level. Okay. Yes, I think this page is worth screenshotting. Okay, you should screenshot this page. My room is considerably larger, absolutely larger, highly larger, incredibly larger. Extremely, fairly, really, relatively, remarkably, certainly, slightly larger than theirs, than their room. What about your room? My room is rather, rather smaller. My room is rather smaller than, uh, than their room. Okay. 19A, the brown, the brown shoulder bag, which one, for example, this is the brown shoulder bag. The brown shoulder bag is slightly heavier, yes, slightly heavier, a little bit, a little heavier, a bit heavier, a little bit heavier than the blue one, than the blue one. What about the green one? The green one is, which one? The green one is slightly lighter than this one. Okay. For example, please do not take COVID slightly these days. Let's take it seriously. Yes, the experts say that uh, the experts say that COVID uh, COVID nineteen has other dangerous variations. Okay. 20A, this sandwich is a bit cheaper than the loaf of bread. What about that hamburger? Hamburger, that hamburger is uh, slightly, uh, is slight or rather, rather expensive than, uh, than the bread. Or it is uh, slightly uh, cheaper than the bread. 
Okay, quiz time. Please choose the correct alternative. Question one. I would rather go. Okay, I would rather. We will study them completely in a comprehensive, uh, comprehensively in advanced level, but uh, let's uh, make an investment here. Let's uh, get a general idea, okay? I would rather go, for example, but uh, I prefer going, okay? I prefer going. I would rather go. Would rather means prefer, okay? I would rather go out than blanket home. So if it is for, I would rather go out than blanket home, then so verb one, the uh, plain form, then stay, where is stay? E. So I would rather go out than stay at home. Okay, not staying, not stay, not to stay, because would rather requires go. Okay, I would rather go out than stay at home. It was the blank useful advice I've ever had in my life. It was the, so we, we will look for the superlative form, okay? It was the, the, the most, okay, this one, B. It was the most useful advice I've ever had in my life. Question three, no one is as adjective as, <laughs> okay. No one is as helpful blank to rule is. So D is true. We can't even choose so because it is positive, okay? No one is as helpful as to rule is. For my nephew and I are blank. My nephew is like me. I am like my nephew. So my nephew and I are alike. Okay, we are alike. Istanbul is not very much blank London. Istanbul and London are alike. So, uh, Istanbul is not very much alike London. Okay. Istanbul and London are alike. Istanbul is not very much, very much. Istanbul and London are alike. So, Istanbul and uh, Istanbul is not very much. Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, not alike. Okay, Istanbul is not very much like London. So, Istanbul and London are alike, but there is something wrong here. So, we should delete, we should erase not here, if it is like. If they are alike, yes, it means that uh, Istanbul is very much like London, or London is very much like Istanbul, so Istanbul London are alike. So Istanbul is very much like, yes, it is like it. Okay, it is very much like it. Okay, yes. Okay, let's go on to, let's go move on to uh, studying vocabulary or increasing our vocabulary, building our vocabulary. Okay. What do you think about the former president? What do you think about the former president? You are the recent, you are the recent president. Okay. Uh, what do you think about the former president? I don't think about the former president. I don't think anything about the former president, or I don't think about former president. Okay, former. They are really useful expressions, former and letter. Former, uh, the first meaning, the first meaning of former is the first of two. For example, there are two presidents and uh, for example, the former one is was Trump. The latter one is uh, Biden. Okay, so Biden, uh, the Trump was the first of two. Okay, two, of two presidents, the first in place. Okay, past 
okay, or the past president, a person who who contrives for this is the second meaning. Okay, there is there is a semicolon here. Yes, this is the first meaning. This is the second. A person who contrives, who forms. Okay, a skimmer or planner. Former, you can say a planner. Ahmed is a former of uh, a form of, former of this uh, exam paper, for example, or planner of this exam, maker of this exam, contriver, former, a person who contrives a way to a yes, skimmer, a planner. Okay. Letter means recent, yeah, the second of the two, okay? The second of the two, recent, modern. The second of the two, yes, here, this is what this one, or the second mentioned of two, last, latest, final. Is there recent? Yeah, recent, final. The last of two, following, yeah, late, modern, later, more recent, a more recent, yeah, coming or happening after something else opposed to former, the former and letter rain. The former rain, the letter rain. Okay. Formerly as an adverb and letterly, letterly as an adverb again. If something happened or was true previously, formerly, it happened or was true in the past, in former times, in previous times, in past times, okay? In previous days, okay. Laterally means recently to have occurred in short time before, lately, later, later is also possible. Afterward, form as a verb, make up, okay? Or just make, form, make up your mind means form your mind, is it? Maybe it doesn't make a sense. It's make up your minds, means decide, okay? Decide. Former is a person, someone who forms, makes up something, contriver or maker, maker of something. Former and later. Sorry, sorry, not later, letter. Former and letter. As I mentioned before, I have formed, I have contrived two projects about learning English, the former program is about being familiar with English accurately and fluently. This form, this former one includes, contains three harmonies as elementary, intermediate, and advanced levels. The latter one is about mastering English. This latter project includes vocabulary building and topic discussion studies. I am the former of these two projects. Former, maker, designer. Okay. The latter project was the same format as the former project. The latter project was the same format as the former project. Yes. The same now. Okay. The same format was the same format as the former, former project. Of course, formerly, I planned the English learning project and then the mastering English one laterally. Yes, fam familiarity with English or mastering English. Uh -huh, which one? Fam familiarity with English or mastering English. Which one do you need? The former one or the latter one? For it? Salute. Dissolve, solvent, solution, sol, solution. Okay, solute means, solute means substance dissolved, usually in a liquid to form a solution. So solution comes from solute. Okay. Dissolve means disintegrate, disintegrate, melt into a fluid. Okay. Solvent means adjective, a liquid substance capable of dissolving other substances. Yes. Solution means a solution is a liquid in which a solid substance has been dissolved. So uh, a solution is not just a liquid, 
but uh, there is a substance dissolved in it, this one, dissolved in it, okay, melted in it. Okay, so of course, find an answer or solution to a problem or question to work out. Here, solution means the answer to a problem. Okay, let's see if there is, I don't know, I am not sure if there is a dialogue about these words. Yes, here is the dialogue, solute, solvent, and solution. Sugar, for example, dissolves in warm water easily. Yeah, water is liquid. Sugar is a solute here, okay? Sugar is a solid. Is water itself a solute or solution? Of course, water itself is liquid, but when the sugar dissolves in it, it becomes sherbet. So that sherbet is a solution. Okay, it is not just a liquid. Now, sherbet is not just a liquid. It is liquid, but it's a solution. Okay, what is sugar? Huh? What is sugar water? What is sherbet? Uh, sugar uh, is a solute. Yes, sugar is the solute and sherbet is the solution. To solve a problem, what is like? What, what is it like to negotiate or to discuss it first. Of course, to solve a problem, it is really necessary to negotiate it first or to discuss it first. Okay. Being a participant or an attendee, participate means join, you know, take part in. Uh, the person is uh, a participant. So being a participant or being an attendee. A. Democracy works well only if people participate, attend, okay? When does an online English course work successfully? Of course, an, an online English work works successfully if the participants or attendees join the class. Okay, include themselves to the class. And if they take part in, if they attend the class regularly. Okay, now there is an uh, there is a phrase in literature: participatory, participatory democracy, participatory democracy. It means the dictionary says. Democratic government in which citizens play an active role in decision making. Okay. Okay, all right. Focus on means you know this. Concentrate on. Yes. Concentrate on one's attention. Concentrate one's attention on a subject, on something else. I could focus on the lessons well. Yes. I had good attention, but I couldn't understand a lot of words of my teacher when I was at primary school. Yes, when I was at primary school, I could focus on, I could concentrate on the lessons well, but I couldn't understand a lot of words of my teacher. Okay. What were you like when you were at primary school? Yes. Could you please focus on cooking? Could you please focus on what you are doing now? I can focus on what I am doing. Okay. What were you like when you were at primary school? I could understand. I could listen. Yeah, I could listen to my teachers carefully. And uh, I was able to ask questions uh, to my teachers as well. Okay, manipulate, yes, has a negative disapproval, disapproval meaning. Uh, make someone think and behave exactly as you want them to. Yeah, by skillfully deceiving or influencing them. Manipulate, uh, this is the collocation of it. Uh, manipulate somebody into doing something, okay? Manipulate somebody into doing something. 
Don't manipulate problems. Let's make an immediately a spontaneous sentence, uh, with imperative sentence. I don't have a sentence in fact, but don't don't manipulate uh, the child into selling his toy. Okay, don't manipulate the child into selling his pet. Okay, let's take a look at the dialogue. Erhan's father encouraged him to work. Yeah, this is positive. This is, uh, it has got a positive meaning. E encourage somebody to do something is good. Okay, Erhan's father encouraged him to work for days to do his Master of Arts degree in security systems. Who manipulated him into working for that company? Yes, unfortunately, uh, his old friend manipulated him into working for that company. Okay. Encourage somebody to do something, motivate somebody to do something, make someone want to do something. This is really a beautiful expression. So, or make someone want to be something, to have something. Don't say to your children, to be a doctor, to be a teacher, to be to be a web designer, but if you can make them want, okay, make them want to be a successful successful person, make them want to be a successful and happy and healthy person in life, for example. It means encourage them to be, motivate them to be a successful and happy and healthy person in life. Okay, consider is a beautiful word. Look at attentively. First meaning, uh, consider, consider doing something. For example, do you consider buying a house? Yes, consider somebody something as something. Reconsider means Consider again, yes, review, consider again. Dialogue, an individual considers his or her cultural background from time to time. This is natural. When does an individual have to reconsider his or her cultural background? Of course, when he or she uh, goes abroad, uh, he, he or she has to reconsider his or her cultural background. Okay. When a person meets another culture, he or she has to reconsider his or her cultural background, not to be a, not to leave, not to have a culture shock. Okay. Consider somebody something to be as or being. It's really beautiful. You can use three of them, okay? For example, if you consider a person or thing to be or as or being something, you have the opinion that this is what they are. This is what they are. For example, I consider you to be successful. Okay? So there is no difference between I consider you as successful. Okay? Or as a noun, I consider you as a teacher. I consider you to be a teacher. I consider you being a teacher. Okay? These are all possible. I consider you to be successful. I consider you to be a neighbor. Yeah? I consider you to be a good neighbor. Do you consider me being successful? Yes. I consider you being successful. Or I consider you to be successful. I consider you as successful this is my this is my attitude this is my mindset this is my manner this is my point of view okay i consider you as successful or being su successful or to be successful all three are possible okay thank you very much again and stay safe yes stay safe stay happy uh, until next time and see you next time.